Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques that help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen Gianni here. April and I are together and we're looking at running in place on the Wonder Chair and we're just focused on uh, foot and ankle alignment. So April's gonna lightly hold on to the handles and she's gonna step into the pedal. And of course on this one, we're keeping the pedal down and we're doing running in place just like we do on the reformer, but this is a much more functional way of doing it and a much more functional way of looking at like what the, the feet and the ankles are actually doing during the day rather than just lying down and having the foot, feet on the foot bar. So she's coming up, she has parallel legs and feet and she's coming up onto the balls of her feet into a high heel, trying to spread across her metatarsal heads. Good, and then she's gonna bend one knee and drop the opposite heel. Great, and then rise up and bend the other knee. Good, and just do a couple more. And actually her feet and her heels are looking really good. Good. So it's interesting because you can keep going, April, because what most of us will find when we start to really look at the feet and dynamic motion is that one foot's doing something and the other foot's doing the opposite, right? So with April, um, when she is coming into releve on her left foot, right, she has a little bit more pressure on her inner foot, and then when she's coming into releve on her right foot, she has a little bit more pressure on her big toe. So that's a really simple thing for someone to become aware of. So when she comes into releve on her left foot, I want her to keep her pinky toe, but shift some weight into her big toe as she drops that right heel, right? So she has to find that big toe, and she has to be aware of her knee alignment. Good, and then coming up, great. And now here, sometimes it's hard with the pinky toe. Yep, but she has to keep her big toe and put some weight into that pinky toe. Good, nice. Hold here with the right heel up, April. Yep, and so she's doing a great job keeping her pelvis nice and steady. And I think what's going on here is that we need a little bit more of a feeling that the inner thigh is moving out, right? The tibia is moving in. And now, can you try to shift? Yes, there you go. And change. So more weight on your big toe. Good. And so we wanna find that bone rhythm, right? Yeah, keep your right heel up and then really shift the weight, good, nice. And see what I'm doing is I'm internally rotating this um, right tibia, good. And then come all the way up, excellent work, good, thanks. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. See you next time and never stop learning.